Hey, what's up YouTube? This is and O here. Today I'm bringing you a 39KD flawless gameplay on infection. And the topic today is the best equipment needed to become the best player in Call of Duty and other first person shooters in general. So the first one we're going to talk about today is the monitor. A gaming monitor. So you normally probably play on um, big screen LCD TVs or HDTVs, flat screens. You know, you might think that's better because you have a bigger view and you can see the enemies clearer. That's not necessarily um, the right thing to do because what a monitor does is it, the mini map is very, very important. As Like I've told you before in all of the lessons, you know, you're always constantly checking the mini map. But with a bigger TV, there's a there's a huge uh, distance between where you're looking at and then to look at the minimap. So there's a bit of a delay in checking the minimap. But the monitor, you know, it's probably going to be a 24 inch. I recommend a 24 inch. The minimap is like literally right in your peripheral vision. So you can see it a lot easier. So what that makes you do, what the advantage of that is you can check your minimap a lot quicker and easier. It's always in your sight. So, you know, you don't have to physically, like, turn your eyes to the top left to just to see the minimap. It's there in front of you in a game and monitor. The next uh, best advantage to that is, probably the best advantage uh, overall, is the input lag. On TVs, there's an input lag, which means, uh, just simplifying things here, if you press a button on your controller, there's a, a delay for the reaction on the actual screen itself. So if you press the button to shoot or jump, there's a slight delay uh, when it transmits the signal and actually affects your character. But with a monitor, a game and monitor, the input lag is virtually non-existent. There is some, but it's very, very, very minuscule. Like the human body can't even react to that, you know, because it's so low. So that's why the professional players use it. There's a less of an input lag and um, your reaction time is going to increase slightly. So every little bit helps, you know, you're going to get an advantage over your opponent if they're not using that. Because your reaction time is going to be slightly quicker than theirs. So um, it's a, it's, a, it's actually quite a, a decent advantage if, you know, you play on a, a medium to high level. Which I'm training, you know, everyone here to do. So I definitely recommend the game and monitor. That's third on the, on the list, top three. And um, the brands to get is like Asus or BenQ. You know, those are my top two brands to get for a game monitor. The professional players use Asus or BenQ. So I would recommend those two and try them out. You know, don't spend a lot of money. You know, go with the BenQ or the Asus. Something, you know, maybe under $200. Get a 60 hertz. 60 hertz is fine for consoles. So I recommend that, that as well. The next one we're going to talk about is a scuff controller which gives you paddles in the back so you can jump without um, taking your thumb off the joystick so what that does is when you're jumping you know some traditionally you have to take your, th your thumb off of the, the joystick and actually press the X button to jump on the PS4 controller but with a scuff you don't need to you just press the paddle with the back with your other finger so it gives you a lot better accuracy when you're jumping and shooting but there is bumper jumper in this game so you know if you can't afford the scuff use bumper jumper and uh, there's also other controllers such as a Cinch as well. You know, there's other companies, so check them out. They're just as good. My friends have the Cinch as well, and it works the same way. But um, the Scuff is licensed for the professional players to use when they're competing. So, you know, it's legal and it's not cheating. You know, it's a good controller to use. And um, yeah, the pros use it. Otherwise, if you don't want to buy a controller, play Claw. Check that out on YouTube as well, what Claw is. Um, it's very, very useful as well. And finally, number one is a headset. You want, you really want a decent headset because it's gonna increase your situational awareness around you. And like I've spoken about in the previous lessons, situational awareness is very, one of the top things in this, in any game um, to have. If you have a higher situational awareness on your opponent, you're gonna outplay him, you're gonna outsmart him, and you're gonna perform better. So, with a headset, you can uh, hear, like, hear when they're firing weapons around you and just point them out with the headset. You know, you can just follow the sound and you can 
get close to them even if they're using a suppressor and if they're boost jumping you can hear it if if they they're walking running you can hear it with a perk um, awareness it's not too great in this game but you can still hear it if you listen very closely uh, it definitely helps and um, infinity ward generally has good sound quality as well so the next game is going to be from infinity ward so I definitely recommend the number one thing right now is to do is to invest in a, a decent headset. It doesn't have to be the best one, but make sure it's not too cheap either because it's going to break anyway and you're going to have to spend more money. I use the Astro's A40s and I'm very happy with them. Very, very good quality. And the pro players use Astro's as well. So, you know, it's just very good. But it's, it's, quite, it's quite expensive though. So you don't necessarily need one, need one like of this price, but you can get away with a decent one. I also had Tritons in the past, they were good. Make sure they're surround song though. And you can, you know, it comes with a good equalizer, a good um, amplifier, so you really want that. And yeah, I, I mean, it's gonna, those three things are really gonna step your game up to, you know, it's gonna raise the performance ceiling. And you know, it's, you're gonna really start performing at a higher level and competing at a higher level. So hope you enjoyed that little bit of information. Please like, favorite and subscribe and share the video please. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.